Good afternoon everyone and I'd like to welcome you all here today to the Ardencote Manor where we will be celebrating a very special occasion, that of the marriage of Peter and Megan. This is a day they will remember for all of their lives and we are all here to share their joy, to wish them well and to make this a happy and memorable day for them both. Now it is traditional for a bride to be formally given in marriage on her wedding day. <laughs> so I now ask, who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Would you like to take your seat? And ladies Thank and you. gentlemen, okay. please be seated. Go on. Hello. Hello. I'll ask you to come a little bit further forward. You can stand just on the edge there, actually. You don't need to come all the way in here. Um, and can I ask for our, our official witnesses today, uh, Fiona and Emily, to come forward and just take these seats here, please. Fiona and Emily, thank you. That's it. Just take a seat either side. So, ladies and gentlemen, Peter and Megan have requested some readings today. So, can I ask Catherine to come forward for the first reading, please? Turn the face, everybody, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead when you're ready. Start. <laughs> you're surrounded by your loved ones, and all are wishing you well as you create a brand new chapter in the story that's yours to tell. We talk about the memories you have yet to make together and the memories you've already shared to be carried with you forever. But take the time to live today as your marriage begins. Look around and soak it up, the moment we are in. But this is where the magic starts, when you both say your vows. You pledge to spend your lives as one because of the love you feel now. So yes, here's to a future that is bright and warm and clear. But more than that, here's to right now and what it means to be here. Well done, Catherine. Thank you. Thank you. Peter and Megan, although the civil ceremony is simple and without ritual, the vows that you will make today are solemn and binding. The purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care for and support each other through the highs and lows of life. Marriage is a desire by two people to share themselves and their experiences with each other and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. It calls for trust, understanding, honesty and patience. And it is a confirmation of the love, the respect and friendship that you have for each other. Together, you will be stronger to meet whatever life holds for you. <laughs> you are all here today, ladies and gentlemen, to witness the joining in matrimony of Peter Duncan Trickett and Megan Laura Stevenson. 
if any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. <laughs> the place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to the law for the celebration of marriages. And before you're joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you are about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people, voluntarily entered into, for life, to the exclusion of all others. So I shall now ask each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. So later you have to go first. <laughs> and if you could repeat these words after me, please. Okay. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Peter Duncan Trickett. Why I, Peter Duncan Trickett. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Megan Laura Stevenson. To Megan Laura Stevenson. Well done. <laughs> and now, Megan, I'm going to ask you to repeat the same words, if you would, please. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Megan Laura Stevenson. Why I, Megan Laura Stevenson. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Peter Duncan Trickett. To Peter Duncan Trickett. <laughs> <laughs> now the moment has come for Peter and Megan to contract their marriage before you, their witnesses, their family and friends. There is only the requirement for two official witnesses at a wedding, but each and every one of you present will witness the words that they will say to one another and the vows that they will make. These vows are a formal and public pledge of their love and a promise of lifelong commitment to each other. So with these words, you're going to be saying these to each other. So okay. if you'd like to turn to okay. each other slightly, yeah. that's okay. <laughs> And now, Peter, you go first okay. again, if yeah. you would, please. <laughs> these are only quite short. So. <laughs> I, Peter Duncan Trickett. I, Peter Duncan Trickett. Take you, Megan Laura Stevenson. Take you, Megan Laura Stevenson. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Megan, if you could repeat these words after me, please. I, Megan Laura Stevenson. I, Megan Laura Stevenson. Take you, Peter Duncan Trickett. Take you, Peter Duncan Trickett. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. <laughs> Marriage also requires closeness and distance. The closeness of a couple growing together whilst giving enough distance to allow each partner to be an individual. A good partner in such a marriage will be loving, caring and above all, a best friend to the other. <laughs> it is with this knowledge today that Peter and Megan are before us and in each other's company they have found happiness, fulfilment and love. So now in place of a reading, in the second uh, reading, we're going to listen to a song. Now Chloe's going to <laughs> sing for us, and this song is called You Are The Reason by Callum Scott. <laughs> Chloe, could I ask you to come forward? <laughs> Stand wherever you're comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Chloe. There goes my heart beating, and 
You are the reason I'm losing my sleep. Please come back now. There goes my mind racing, and you are the reason that I'm still breathing. I'm hopeless now. I climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I've broken. Oh, cause I need you to see that you are the There goes my hand shaking, and you are the reason. When my heart keeps bleeding, I need you now. And if I could turn back the clock, I'd make sure the light defeated the dark. I'd spend every hour of every day keeping you and I climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I've broken oh cause I need you to see that you are the reason Well done. <laughs> she did well. <laughs> well done. So Peter and Megan have chosen to exchange rings today, which is the traditional way of sealing the vows that they've just made. So I'm very much hoping that our best man <laughs> So the first one we're going to need is the one that Peter will give to Megan. Please. Yeah. So if you'd like to choose the right one, yeah. <laughs> stay there with the box for a little bit. And if you'd like to put that ring onto Megan's yeah. third finger, that's lovely. And push it all the way on, but then keep holding her hand as you say the words of the promise that you've chosen to make okay. to Megan. Megan, I give you this ring. Megan, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of our love and the symbol of our love. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Care for you and respect you. Care for you and respect you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Well done, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we have to Hello, my turn now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you can take a seat again. Thank you very much. <laughs> so pop that ring onto Peter's third finger, that's it. Push it all the way on. And then holding his hand as you say your promise to him. Peter, I give you this ring. Peter, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And a symbol of our love. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Care for you and respect you. Care for you and respect respect you. <laughs> as long yeah. as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Thank you. you like myself. <laughs> 
now we're going to have another reading. So could I ask Alex to come forward, please? <laughs> the impromptu. It is impromptu, but I'm sure he's absolutely fine. <laughs> when you're ready, Alex. This is these I can promise by Mark Twain. I cannot promise you a life of sunshine. I cannot promise riches, wealth or gold. I cannot promise you an easy pathway that leads away from change or growing old. But I can promise all my heart's devotion, a smile to chase away your tears of sorrow, a love that's ever true and ever growing, a hand to hold in yours through each tomorrow. Well done. Thank you very much, Alex. <laughs> The wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and no end. It symbolises unending and everlasting love. And it is an outward sign to the world of the promises that you have made to each other. You've invited your family and friends here today to receive their encouragement and support and to celebrate with you at this special time. So I ask you now both in the presence of this company, do you, Peter, take Megan to be your lawful wedded wife, to be loving, faithful and loyal to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. <laughs> and do you, Megan, take Peter to be your lawful wedded husband, to be loving, faithful and loyal to him for the rest of your life together? I do. Marriage is the union of two hearts. It lives on the love that you give to each other. It never grows old, but thrives on the joy of each new day. May you always be able to talk things over, confide in each other, laugh with each other, and most importantly, enjoy life together. Yeah. <laughs> so, you have both now made the declarations prescribed by law and you have made that solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, your family and <laughs> friends. Today is the start of a new chapter in your lives together. And we hope that the feelings of love that you have for each other today will deepen and grow ever stronger throughout the years to come. And it now gives me the very greatest pleasure to pronounce that you are legally joined in marriage together. <laughs> Would you like to seal your marriage with a kiss? Yeah. <laughs> <Why not>? Congratulations. <laughs>